Uh, this is uh, episode two, Honor Thy Father. Hopefully this episode goes a lot better uh, than episode one. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. Only time will tell. Don't this! <laughs> yeah, was it raining? Okay, guys, so we uh, finished the uh, first half of Arrow, uh, Honor Thy Father. And when I say half, I mean uh, the first eight minutes and 32 seconds, man. First, let me begin on the high point. The series starts out, man, with an awesome fight sequence. But then, shortly after that, man, everything comes to a screeching halt. And we are left with Kardashian jokes. And then these <laughs> product placement, product placement scripts, man. Like, you know, the writers actually are putting it in. And this is what I'm talking about, man. Why? Why can't writers just write dialogue, man? Great dialogue. You know, I mean, this show is birthed out of the womb of Smallville. But what it lacks, man, is the dialogue, man. You know? And then there's something, something very, very strange, man. We're finally getting to hear uh, Arrow talk. So Oliver Queen... When he's inside of his Arrow uh, costume, outfit, whatever you want to call it, man. When he's in that Arrow character. We're finally getting to hear his voice. And it is absolutely annoying. There's something something wrong with it, man. Um, I remember when we were talking about like Christian Bell, man. Like his, his Batman voice was like <laughs> horrible or whatever. I didn't really see anything wrong with it because I kind of blamed it on the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you put that mask on, you put the crowd on, you know, it's going to block your nostrils, so you have to talk kind of crazy. But, you know, that was kind of an excuse. I mean, yes, it was annoying too, man. Um, the uh, Arrow, his his voice, there shouldn't be anything wrong with it, but he changes it, yo. And that's, see, this is crazy. There's, 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 Emil was talking about this. He said that, you know, when you're doing the the uh, character of Oliver Queen in Arrow, there's he said there's like five different personalities. All right, so you have the Oliver Queen before uh, he was uh, shipwrecked. You have the Oliver Queen that was um, on sea. Then you have the Oliver Queen that was on the island. Then you have the Arrow that was on the island. Then you have the Arrow that is inside of the city now. And then, honestly, you have the Arrow, the Oliver Queen that's back in the city now. And then you have uh, the uh, Oliver Queen um, who's trying to put on a, a front for his mother. And it's so many different personalities, but you get to hear them. I, I want to try to break this down one day, man. And that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to record the audio from these episodes and let you hear these... The, a mill, man. I mean, listen. I'm not. I'm not blaming it on him, man. Obviously, it was the direction that the uh, producers, the writers, director, everybody wanted to take, man. So he's just fulfilling um, what they asked. You know what I'm saying? He's fulfilling his obligation, um, and something's wrong, man. I don't, I don't know what it is, but something is wrong, man. Um, another thing, man. They're they're. Uh, it's episode two now. If you watch the pilot episode, there's really no reason to keep reminding us why Arrow's doing this. You know what I'm saying? There should be an introduction, like, you know, previously on, on Smallville, previously on Arrow. You know what I'm saying? Get us caught up, and that's that. Don't remind us about, you know, why Arrow's doing this. We don't want to hear that the whole entire way through. And we don't want to be reminded every single time that uh, Oliver Queen meets that uh, the sister of the dead girl. That he gets reminded every single time, oh, well, this is Oliver Queen who was on the boat with my dead sister and he killed her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to get reminded of that. Get on with the story, man. Gosh, man. You know, I, I'm sorry, man. Please forgive me because I, I, I said I'm not going to do these rants anymore, but, but that's all it's turning into. I'm going to continue to support this show. I'm going to continue to support anything that has to do with comic books, anything comic book related, anything that has to do with, uh, with Smallville, anything that has to do with those, those geeks and those, and those fanboys, all that stuff, man, that has to do with that type of genre, man. But it is getting frustrating, man. I am really, really getting frustrated and really annoyed. You can't have a show 
a movie you can you know a movie we can actually deal with that you know what I'm saying having a a really awesome and amazing action packed movie and then having horrible acting you know Expendables one Expendables two that's an, an amazing movie as far as special effects but the dialogue the acting it's horrible we know that for a fact you didn't go to see the Expendables to say oh I want to see uh, Sylvester Stallone act because he's the exact same character in every single movie okay so. With Arrow, you can't afford that. You know what I'm saying? Because the CW, I'm honestly, they're going to be losing money. And I'm going to check. And listen, before I even speak, I'm going to check again on the numbers, man. Because we know that it only got like, you know, I think 6.6 .6 million views last time. So if it went down uh, from 6.6 .6 million views, or excuse me, 8 million views, if it went down from 8 million views, then you know there's something wrong with this show, man. So I'm going to go ahead and research that, man, uh, before I go any further into this rant. But man, I'm telling you, man. I usually can call a good show. I'll call a good show. I'll call a, a, a show that people need to watch. And then after that, as the series go on, I'm pretty honest, man. I'm not going to sit there and try to um, put something past somebody. You know what I'm saying? Trick you into watching something. Wasting your time, man. That's an hour out of your life. Or excuse me, 45 minutes out of your life. And you've wasted 15 minutes of it or 20 minutes of it with commercials, okay? So that's one hour out of your life that is wasted because someone doesn't be honest. No, no, no. Honor thy father. That's the episode we're watching. We're going to continue on, man. As of right now, man, its rating is two out of five stars. The only thing that's keeping it up, once again, is the action. Dialogue, shot it back down. And product placement, shot it back down. And then also, uh, annoying narration is still going on. And then constantly being reminded about all this stuff. If you're going to have a flashback, if you're going to waste your time on a flashback series, okay, that's flashing us back to a point that occurred prior to the present time on screen, there's no reason, no reason at all in present time to be reminded of what happened in the past. That's why you have the backstory. That's why you have flashbacks, okay? I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated. But no matter what, man, I'm going to support this show. Here we go, man. We're going to continue on, man. Let's see what happens. Um.